Sorry about the hair, guys. I'm going to do a makeup tonight. I'm, I'm doing a whole makeover tonight. You heard? <laughs> Get a haircut, shave, the whole nine yards. Anyway, I'm here to tell you guys a story, all right? This story is about Rikers Island. Rikers Island. You know, you guys, I don't tell that much story about Rikers Island no more because everybody and their mother's doing that. But I have a thousands of them. So let me throw once in the blue moon. I like to throw one in there. All right, this story is about me and three other Latin kings that we was almost, almost about to get it on with the Bloods. And this was in motherfucking C-73. In C-73, when the war was the war, when the shit was just popping. And you could say C-73 and the Beacon was Bloods. No question about that. C-95, HDM. Uh, what else? C-74 was Kings, no question. But, oh, and the Sprungs was Kings. C-76 was Kings. But those two buildings, Bloods had that locked down. C-73 and, and the Beacon. So anyway, I go C-73, ex-woman's house. I'm there, I mean, it's three that and Kings. That's when I became a bad boy. A bad boy was, we were supposed to be the the Kings that, we were supposed to be the special squad. You understand what I'm saying? This is the hit squad. The hit squad talking about we hit anything. Latin kings that was fronting. Latin kings that was pussies. Bloods that was getting, that was doing too much damage. Yes, bloods that was doing too much damage to the kings. We was getting at them. No question about it. It was me, Hitman, uh, this other guy that we used to call Fonsarelli because he looked like the Fonz. Um, I know you know what I'm talking about, Fonz from Happy Days. You call him King Fonsarelli. And me, Hitman, King Fonsarelli, and two or three other kings that if I quite, I don't remember their names, but there was three, four, five, six of us, six land kings that we was um, um, bad boys. Okay. I remember one time Hitman had a problem with a blood, and the blood's name was uh, Two-Face, Bloody Two-Face. He had, he had a scar on his face. I, be, I believe he was a 5 percenter. And he was one of the first 5 percenters that got cut by a king. So, of course, you're going to turn um, blood. Because at that time, I don't know what happened to the 5 percenters. They just fell off. And I believe they fell off because there was the blood. The king started taking over shit. And if you think about it, the same bloods that are bloods right now used to be 5 percenters. But the bloods that were putting in work... In the early 90s, there was not 5 percenters, bro. None of them were 5 percenters. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Skelly, um, all these guys uh, was not 5 percenters, bro. Uh, what's his game? OG Mac. Dead Eye. Dead Eye was a 5 percenter, but he got out of that shit. Uh, who else? Uh, all these guys. Magoo. All these guys was not uh, 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 a Wildcat. None of these guys were 5 percenters. Now, the, like I said, the dudes that was making noise... That started doing the thing was not five percenters, B. Five percenters started getting off and, and joining in the bloods when the bloods started doing their thing. Because that much I remember because I had a friend of mine that he was a five percenter and he became blood. And he became blood because the king stepped to him and, you know, and pounded him out. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, some shit happened. They pounded him out when he was a five percenter. And overnight he became a blood. Anyway, so... Hitman went to this house and he had a problem with this dude. So the dude thought he was all that because, you see, like I said, C-73 was mostly all bloods. So if you had a house and let's say the house had 31 persons in the cell, you had a 31 persons, you had probably nine or 10 that was bloods. And you probably had four or three that was kings. You understand what I'm saying? Because remember, we kings did not take everyone. We did not take everyone, bro. We had to go through the test. You had to go through a two-week process. And all that blood in, blood out, we had our own way for you to become a king. So, and, But it was not that open, like blood in, blood out. You understand? Know Fuck all that. Now, the only time we'll jeopardize a man's life is, his freedom is, if we had to. So, I mean, Hitman... Started fucking, you know, this dude started fucking with Hitman because Hitman was tall, but he was skinny. But Hitman was a good fighter. Hitman was no joke. He was skinny, but he was strong. Because that I know, cause when he knocked out Shabash, and Shabash was a big dude, he knocked out Shabash with no problem. 
Shabazz was another five percent of him. Now, when this dude started fucking around with, with Hitman, Hitman came. Hitman was in another house. I was, I was, uh, it was me, uh, uh, Flaco Puñala. We was in another house, but Flaco Puñala was not was not bad boys. There was bloodlines. Like I said, I was bloodline too. But I had to get into uh, uh, bad boys to get down with the special squad. I had to. I had to. Uh, we was losing that war, and it was a must. It was a must. So that's why you could blame the bad boys for tying this this war up. Because the bad boys did their thing. You feel me? And the next thing you know, I became a Latin King uh, Terminator. But that was uh, that's another story. Anyway, when I found out that this dude had beef with... with, with um, what, 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 oh my God, what hit, man? Next thing you know, it was on and popping because this dude had mad juice. You feel me? He had mad juice. Two Face had mad juice. And, um, like I said, he was connected with, he, even though he was not a 5%, he was still connected with 5%ers and Bloods. So, what happened? Shit started getting ugly. Um, uh, they tried to jump Hitman one time. Hitman went off. He started getting busy. The other two kings that was in the house with him, man, him had two other kings in the house. Those two other kings, it's another story with those two. Believe me, they believe me. So what happened was they let they let Hitman do his thing by himself, man. So they got Hitman. Hit, they didn't cut him. God bless. He got. He ran out of that house. He got into the house that was right next to my house. I was in B side, and he was another side. So boom, when we got together. Remember now, I'm with three kings, and, and, and me is four. Hitman, other side, five. And then we got the other ones that's, you know, saying it's a nice pack. Boom. We coming back from Chow. The house that Hitman was in, the dudes that jumped Hitman, they was coming. And these dudes, you could easily know these dudes because they just stand in front of the fucking line. You know, they when the line was there, they wanted to be in the front. Kings always used to be in the back. Fuck that. You understand what I'm saying? So what happens? They ain't, they ain't know what house Hitman went to. So we coming this way. They coming that way. Next to you know my brother. When they saw that they, we got to like to the almost to the end. That's when Hitman just came out that line. Boom. Bust one of them. I'm talking about ripped one of them. And that's when we all came out. We started getting on. I'm talking about the Latin Kings that was in the house, in the house that we was in. And there was like about a good four, five, six, seven, eight, like about eight Latin Kings and like about 10 Bloods. Let me tell you, the shit was drama. They didn't have no weapons on them. No weapons. We had the weapons. We had the fucking weapons. So you already know what it was, bro. The dude... Uh, uh, Two Face, motherfucking Hitman just ripped them apart. B, I'm talking about. I think I think I think Hitman called him twice in the face. B, big times. B, me, I caught this other dude that I never knew his name. I go, I caught him, and I caught another one, a Puerto Rican blood. And Puerto Rican bloods, I used to like to catch them, not for nothing, but I used to like to catch them because those are the ones that used to camouflage. You know what I'm saying? They used to be like, yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking Nieta or, or, I'm, or I'm king. So by the time you get in the bullpens and niggas be like, yo, I'm over hey, you think he's a king and, you know, you're going to walk up to him. He already know you're a king. You see, that's why I used to tell people, if you're not sure who's a king, you don't go up to the motherfucker. You don't even say shit to the nigga. You just look at the nigga and just turn around because you're not sure. It ain't no cowardness about that. It ain't no cowardness about that, bro. You protecting yourself. If not, if a nigga asks, yo, you king? You tell him, yeah, I'm fucking king. And by the time you finish telling him you're a king, you stick this nigga or you hit this nigga, whatever you got to do. That was my rule. You feel me? So, man, let me tell you, we cleaned up that house, bro. We cleaned up, bro. Out of all those bloods that was in that house, B, about six of them got hit. I ain't going to front about six. And that was one of the times that I saw about three bloods run. I ain't lying. Three bloods run. And the three bloods that ran, oh, my God. Those dudes was blood meat. 
Believe me, that was that was trays, that was plates. The Bloods got those three. I'm not gonna say their names, but the Bloods got those three. I'm talking about got them good. And I and 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 the last that I remember, two of them became Crips. Ain't that a bitch? But shit, the moral of the story is this, bro. Shit could pop off any fucking time. You understand what I'm saying? And that's when the bad boys was really, really created. You understand? That we was like, yo. Yes, we made our first move, we had our first war, and we won it. You understand what I'm saying? Nine bad boys against ten bloods. I mean, not eight. I think it was eight of us against ten bloods. And out of ten bloods, three of them ran, bro. Three of them, black, I mean, serious ran, because all of us had guns. All of us had guns. Then we went to the box. When we went to the box, thank God that I, I was already sentenced. That's why I was in C-74, you know, I came from 1995. I was in 74. I was already sentenced. I go to the box. I'm in the box for like two weeks. Boom, I get the fuck out the box. I'm going to state. That's when I went to Collins. I was lucky. But they wanted to give me a motherfucking, what was it, a new, uh, not a new case because it was self-defense. You know, you got to drop it like that. You got to hit them low. Listen, bro, there's races all over the places, bro. Bro, all the races that we had, everything, once the riot squad started coming in, we threw in the floor. The COs didn't know who was the aggressors. I mean, the COs in my house and the COs in their house, they didn't know who was the aggressor because at that time, there was only one CO that used to take care of the whole line. So that's only two, two COs, a bunch of motherfucking with uh, 62 people. 62 people, just some of them running, some of them hiding, some of them got nothing to do with it, some of them fighting. You understand what I'm saying? So... Let me tell you, I got to say, we did our thing that day. Oh, yes, we did, bro. And um, that was the first time that I could say that the, the, the bad boys got themselves in the map. Definitely got themselves in the map. And another time I remember, it was in C95. That's when, when I went upstate. I remember that going upstate and shit, <laughs> I ain't going to front. Going to state, like about two weeks upstate, one of the bloods. That was that was in that war that I believe he got cut. He came and he recognized he could have had me because I didn't recognize him. He could have had me. He was right next door to me, right next door to my cell in motherfucking downstate. And he recognized me, bald head and all. You feel me? Because you don't know nothing like you don't know nothing like yourself. They, they shut your, they, they shave your head the whole nine yard. So he came and said, yeah, man, I know you. Your name is Solo. You from the, from the Land King, right? And I'm like, yeah, how the fuck you know? He's like, yeah, I'm the, I know you're a bad boy because me and you went at it. Like, we went at it. said, well, you didn't do it. You, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't cut me. It was your other man that cut me, your other brother that cut me. I said, you got cut in this one? He said, yeah. So now my mind, you know, I'm like, okay, there's going to be a little problem here now because this nigga got cut. It's not going to stay like that, so we're going to see what's up. So... I told him right there in the cell. He like to, like I said, he was like next door to me. I said, yo, so what you want to do? You want to leave this in the island? Or you want to leave this shit? Or you want to leave it in the island? Or you want to continue it downstate? The dude like a man, and I respect him. Like a man. The man said, nah, bro. That's old beef, man. Forget about it. I got cut. It wasn't you. And it was, you know what I'm saying, we started that shit by fucking with Hitman. At least he admitted it, bro. And let me tell you, his last name was Jackson. That's all I got to say. Good motherfucker, Jackson. Me and him became friends like for about a month or a month and a half while we was both in downstate. We was both sentenced. I was sentenced to five flat. He was sentenced to two, two and a half to four, some shit like that. And the last thing he wanted was drama. You understand? Know because remember, two and a half to four, come on, man. You know? So we was good, man. We was porters. I, got, I, I became a porter, and I got him a porter job. You know, say porter means that you can go from downstate and you can go downstairs. You know, you could, it's more freedom. It's a little bit more freedom. You help out, you wash clothes, your clothes is always clean. You take showers every day. You know, you get to smoke more cigarettes, which, especially if you don't got none and you just first come in because you can't go to the store for like about a month. You feel me? When you got a new case, you cannot come to go to the store for about a month. So you be fucked for about a month. No packages, no nothing. So, you know... It, it was all good. It was all good. So after that, I went to Collins. Um, I don't know where he went because I went first. But um, he was a good dude. The moral of the story, man, is that, man, we was enemies. 
and we became friends. Nine Latin, eight, eight Latin kings going at it with motherfucking ten bloods. And guess why? Because certain bloods was going to try to pick on one Latin king. Instead of going one-on-one, -on -one, no, they wanted to jump him. And he got busy. Motherfucking got busy. Motherfucking, motherfucking hitman got busy, son. All right? And then when he came to my house, forget about it. But look how shit happened, bro. Enemies became friends. Just like I said a few of my stories. Latin kings and bloods going at it with Crips. You feeling me? When I was the fir our first crown, when I was the first crown in C95, I remember there was, a, there was a few bloods that wanted this Crip, but they couldn't get him. And I gave the order. Yo, go get that nigga. And they got him. They got him. My man, uh, one of the bros named Columbia, did his work. Did his work. And, the, and check this out. We didn't want Colombia to do no work because Colombia was supposed to go to court the next day. And he couldn't, he, you know, he couldn't go home. And he went home. But he went home with style. He went home with style, son. He bucked. Yeah, he gave that nigga a couple of bucks. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know what a couple of bucks means, it's about a couple, of, maybe like about a little, little, little good hundred and something stitches. Maybe something like that. But he got him. He got him for the bloods. And that's when we was rocking that blood shit. Latin Kings and Bloods together rocking that five. And that's a beautiful thing. Because a lot of people don't know, man, how strong can Latin Kings and Bloods get if they rock that five. But right now, in the island, let's keep it official. There's more Bloods than Kings. And I don't know if they rocking that five or what. I hope they are, man. I really do. All right? So this is a quick story, 16, 17-minute story, letting you guys know what happened C in C-73, Latin Kings and Bloods, and that was one of the wars that bad boys won. No question. This is your boy K-Solo. I see you guys Monday or Tuesday. Remember, the guys dock me. They, they, they block me for a whole week. Your boy K-Solo. Love you guys. See you. All right? I'll be having this recorded. I'm doing a couple of, bits, couple of stories like that. I can have them recorded. And boom, send it to you guys. Love you guys. K-Solo, the one and only. Booyah! <laughs>